is going on everyone? It is Jaker GG and welcome back to another episode of Factions here in Cosmic PvP. I hope you guys are having a great day. And today we are here in the recording room getting ready to dip into some awesome stuff. Um so first of all I wanted to give a shout out to Bionic underscore MC. Not Bionic MC, but another guy. Um he Actually got a legendary chest and an envoy, and he uh, he opened it up, and then he act he ended up getting a soul enchantment book out of it, and he messaged me and he asked me to open it for him. So I I, I messaged him back and said, okay, meet at planes. I opened it up and I get a divine emulation four with air rates. I give it back to him and then he asks if I want to buy it. I'm like sure. I offered him a million and he sold it to me for 900k because he said that um, something about me being like his favorite YouTuber. So thank you, bro. It means a lot. Um, anyways. Let's get it right into this book and what we're going to do with it. So, if you guys didn't know already, I have another Divine Emulation 4 sword. And um, I wasn't really planning on getting another, although, I mean, it's kind of cool to have a backup. But if this thing works, I'm going to be really psyched because I, if you guys know, I don't have the greatest luck with books. And I just have a feeling this is not going to work. I just have a feeling deep down inside of me that this is not going to work. But, you know, it's worth a shot. And um, it was a pretty good deal considering that an unopened soul enchantment book is like 2 or 3 mil. So, yeah, I, I kind of want to use it on this sword, but at the same time, I don't have a white scroll for it. And it's like, if this breaks, it's a pretty pretty darn good sword. So, you know what? We're just going to go... I'm thinking maybe we should just put on a glacier sword, because, yeah, like, all these are G-Kit swords that don't have any room. And, yeah, I mean, I don't think I have any other swords other than that one um, that I can put it on. So, you know what we're going to do? Uh, I don't know, but it, is it, would it be any fun if we put on, the, on a glacier sword? I feel like we should just put it on that sword because I don't know if I'm going to ever use this unless I get divine emulation on it so you know what like I don't think I'm ever going to add rage to this unless I have a reason because I don't really use swords so if I can get divine emulation on this I'll definitely save up for a rage book but oh geez this is this is risky probably <laughs> the riskiest decision I've made because mainly because this thing has a, a, a ultimate soul tracker it has vampire 3 lifesteal 5 Blind 3, Silence 4, Demon Forge 4, like it has 5 really good enchantments, and if basically if you added Rage to this, it would be like a starting god sword. So, alright guys, we're just going to go for it, I'm going all in, we're going with the Divine Emulation, if this thing breaks, I mean, it's, I'm going to be pretty disappointed, but, you know, it's it's all for good fun, so, guys, guys, I don't know why I said guys, but guys, wish me luck in the comments below, well, you don't really have to wish me luck, but, I'm just really hoping this works, here we go guys, 3, Two, one. Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna work. I just like right before I did it, I'm like, it's gonna pop, and it, you know, it happens. So, wow, that that really sucks. Um, but you know, it's all right. Like I said, it's uh, it's all in good fun. So, why am I getting such big FPS drops? Come on, what what's going on here? Um, anyways, guys, I also have my G kits to do, so I was gonna do those. Gosh, that is a a big disappointment, but. Let's go ahead and do our G-Kits. We got three of them to do. I'm just going to go and spam them. G-Kit, do this one. And G-Kit, do this one. And then we can also do our um, other ones in another day. So that's cool. Um, we don't need any of these potions. Those are just a waste of time. Um, space drinks. I mean, eh. It's like whatever. Um, and then a lot of this stuff will probably just end up tinkering. Like that's going to be going to the tinkerer. That's going to be going to the tinkerer. That is, that is, that is... Um, that is, wow, this is just some bad stuff, uh, Gears 3, Enlightened 1, yeah, it's, it's not that good, um, that's not good, wow, this is a, wow, what a bust, that was, I, I'm literally gonna tinker everything, that, that really sucks, I was hoping up, I'd at least get, like, one solid piece of gear, but, yeah, that really sucks, but, you know what, it's alright, we'll go ahead and do that, maybe we'll get some, uh, you know, well, obviously we're gonna get XP, I was gonna say, maybe we'll get, a, a some dust from that, from this thing, Come on, and failure. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and just put these on the age for a dollar. Let someone get some Christmas candy. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to probably put another clip after this of some PvP. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright, guys, so we're going to have a little bit of a change of plans here. Um, it is actually the next day. I recorded that last clip yesterday, and... I was originally going to go PvP, and I was going to PvP that night, but it didn't really work out. I was trying to PvP, and there really wasn't that many people out PvPing, and most of them were just running to their derps, and it wasn't that fun. So, what we're going to do is, I have gathered almost every book I need, except for one, to completely max out my main set, and make it the perfect god set, and 
I named it the Immaculate God Set. If you guys watched um, a video a few weeks ago, I made I did an episode all on making the helmet for that set. You can go check that out if you want. It's like a few episodes ago. Um, by the way, I made an entire playlist of Season 2 of Factions. So if you guys do want to go check out that playlist, like you can watch from the first video of Season 2 all the way to the newest one, or like if you missed some in between you want to see all of them in one place, it's right there, it's just in their playlist. So if you ever want to like go back and watch another video, you can easily find them there. Anyways, I just wanted to say that because I um, organized a whole playlist. Anyways, aside from that, um, we're going to be building the Immaculate God set, and I have two books to put on it, and then we're also going to item name tag to the pieces. And if you guys haven't seen the names that I'm putting on these, I'm really excited to see like, how, these, how good these look. If you guys, like I just said, it's the Immaculate God set. Basically, if you don't know what the word Immaculate means, it means like perfect or exquisite or just like perfect. Basically, that's kind of the best synonym I can give. And um, I think it looks really cool. And basically, I have the two gold stars, and then in the middle it says Immaculate and Bold. And it's I'm going to do a different color Immaculate for each one. So we got the dark red, we got some dark purple, and I've got the colors up right here. We could do like a blue or a green. I'm thinking like, I think a dark blue and a dark green would be best. And then... Um, then the set will be complete. So literally all we have to do is we have these pants right- Oh, I don't know, that was a weird mouse glitch. We have these pants right here, which are eight lore pants, I believe. Yes, eight lore. And then we're going to add clarity to those pants, because actually I didn't have clarity on this set. And we got these boots, which have nature wrath on them. They're not the best boots. They have Voodoo 5, so obviously they need something else. And I got a Poison 4 book. So I originally had these, these leggings in my set, but they have Frozen, which I don't really want. The chest plate, yes, it does have curse, and if you want to make a perfect god set with its like only like enchants that you need absolutely 100%, then yeah, you could do without the curse. But for the for the purpose of this god set, I don't think it's gonna like really. It's well, you're obviously not gonna be able to notice the difference. I don't think it's gonna be making that much of a difference. So I think we'll be good, and we're just gonna grab everything we need and grab these item name tags, which will go on this one, and I believe that yeah, chest plate. So if you guys do want to like copy this set to go for it like you can you can take these here i'll show the boots right there actually i'll show them after we add in chance so we're gonna have poison four to those in three two yeah, we're just gonna do it there we go poison four now these are nine lore and we can put the enemy name tag on it one thing that i kind of wish i would have done was put a transmog scroll on each of these and then did the name because if you guys didn't know this the transmog scroll puts in a little number next to the name which I, i'm not a really big fan of and if you if you put that transmog scroll on and then rename it the little number goes away. So I kind of wish I did that, but it's kind of too late, and I don't want to get more out of name tags, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I think having the enchants out of order is fine. Like, I bet Immaculate, like, having it named Immaculate seems like you'd want to have them in order, but it's not a big deal. It's 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 just cosmetic stuff, so it's not really that big of a deal. So basically what we're going to do is this chest plate's completely maxed out. It has Leadership, Shockwave, Guardians, Curse. I know, like, Shockwave is like really, but Shockwave is actually good if you, when you're trying to get away because people can be chasing after you and trying to get rage stacks on you and stuff. And then the Shockwave will push them away. Like it's hard to chase after someone when they have Shockwave. So I think it's actually a really underrated enchant. Some people may think like Shockwave, oh it's crap, just throw it away. I honestly think it's a solid enchant. It's a really solid enchant, and um, it helps you a lot when you're trying to get away from fights and ganks and that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's put this Clarity book on the pants, which I believe yes, the pants. Oops. So the pants are completely done, the helmet's completely done. All we gotta do is rename this chest plate and rename the boots. And if you guys didn't know, I've had some bad luck with item name tags. This, here I'll show you guys my god sword right here. I've had to use three item name tags on this. The first time I did it wrong, the second time I did it wrong, and finally, third time's a charm, I did it th right the third time. And I finally got that right, and then we got the the, uh, the title sub to Jake or GG, which like I said, it, the number's there, which I'm not a really big fan of, but it's, it's alright. It still looks cool. So... Let's actually pull up this color thing on my phone again. This time, I have, I'm actually prepared. A few other times when I did this, I was like searching through my stuff, and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta go on Google and find the color codes. But this time, I'm prepared, so don't worry, guys. Um, so what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna message yourself and do the star. Which, if you guys are wondering how I do the star, it's, um, it's part of the five zig mod, which a lot of people ask me about it. Um, it's just go to look up five zig, all in word on Google, and you'll find it. So we gotta look for this star, and there's two different types of stars. I think, is it that one, or is there one, I think there might be one farther down, let's check, um, oh, it's this one, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one, so what we want to do is, um, 
delete that, and we want, oh my gosh, my phone, you know what, okay, let's open this up, let's keep it open, okay, so the, the star has to be gold, right, let me just make sure, okay, the star is gold, gold and bold, gold and bold, it rhymes, okay, MSG, JK13, we're just making sure that we're doing this right, so we're gonna do and, and, L, and, six, and, six, um, and then we put a that little star. So we'll go over here and click that. And I think that's right. So yes, that. Oh, wait, is that the is that the right star? I think it is. I think it is. So there we go. Um, and then we got to do the immaculate part, which is this one. We're gonna make. Um, we're gonna make it dark green. So then we're gonna go and L and two, immaculate, and then do the same thing, and L, and six star. Let's go over here. Click the star. And boom, there we go. And we gotta make this bold. And two and L and two and L. Perfect. Actually, that looks really cool. So we're gonna do the chest plate like that. So let's go ahead, right click the item name tag, go like this, and make sure we got it right. I'll delete that out and boom. Perfect. Beautiful. Per uh, the stars I think are a little bit different actually. I think I chose the wrong star. I. Th I think I chose the wrong star. I think it was actually the one before that. I think it's actually this one. Yeah, that's all right. We'll do it. We'll do it the right for the first. Like I said, I'm, item name tags are just not my thing, I guess. So yeah, those are nine lore. So let's go ahead and message myself. We can actually just go like this and change this up, and just go over here and instead of and two, do and one. Oh, that was supposed to be message to herself. Fail. MSG Jaker 1311. Ooh, I don't know about the blue though. Let's let's try a different kind of blue. And one, we'll do and nine. Eh. Let's let's try um let's actually try red. Did we do a red? No, that's not that's not right. I did that wrong. Um and four. Oh, I think we already did a red. Yeah, we did a red. I was going to say, that looks familiar. Alright, let's make sure we do this right. I don't want to take too much time on this, but I do want to do this right. And I want to make sure it looks good. So, I think we're going to go with that blue. Should we do the dark blue or the light blue? Uh, I mean, you can see the light blue better, but I think the dark blue actually pops a little bit better. So we're going to go make sure we do this right. Um, oh, we did the same thing, the fail. Um, and one. Alright, there we go. So we're going to do this. Boom, um, hold the boots, and go over here, and boom. Wow, guys, the immaculate set is complete. That thing looks beast. Look at that, look at that. That Just the names are so cool looking. I love this set. This is amazing. Of course, this is my main god set that is probably not going to be being used that much. Um, in very rare occasions will this be used. And, um, I have actually used this sword some. I have tried out this sword, so go, don't tell me in the comments that you'd never use your main god set, because I have used this sword. It takes a lot of souls, I'm just gonna say that. It takes a lot of souls. But, now that we're done with that set, I was gonna say, like, yeah, you can guys, you guys can, um, go ahead and look at that if you wanna take pictures of it. Do whatever you want. If you wanna copy these, be my guest. There's the boots. There's the leggings. I'll give you a couple seconds. There's the chest plate and there's the helmet so if you guys do want to like try out try to build this yourself go for it if you do actually build a set like just like mine or you make your little make some little uh differences like show me it like tag me in it on twitter or something or something like that because it'll be awesome to see someone do the same thing as me anyways i think that is it for the armor we have a little bit of xp to open before the end of this episode i'm going to splash this thing down and we've got a lot of people in the afk pool down there look at that um, we're going to splash that XP down, and we're going to go Enchanter, and we're going to go all out. We're going to buy four Legendaries. Uh, well, uh, I did that wrong. That that would be five Legendaries. And should we just do ten Ultimates? Let's go for it. Ten Ultimates. There we go, guys. So we got five Legendaries, ten ul Ultimates. Really hoping I don't get, like, completely wrecked on these. Come on, just give me a couple good books. Alright, I did not see anything I could, and also... Um, the Ender Walker reminded me, guys, there's been a lot of changes with the enchants, and some enchants have been changed, changed, not changed, sorry, it's late, um, so, Ender Walker was moved up to an ultimate enchant, and it's been changed, so, Ender Walker, the, um, basically what Ender Walker does is it, when you get Wither or Poison, it takes away 
the wither or poison and gives you blindness instead. I think that's what it does. But now, clarity will make that blindness go away even better. Before, clarity didn't work with it, but now clarity works on all blindness. It doesn't matter if you get it from a sword, a bow, from an underwalker. Clarity is better than it ever was, and that's why I'm really excited to have clarity on all these sets, because it used to not do that much, but now I think it's going to be really good. So, that's going to be cool. I'm not going to ramble on too much about that. Also, Inquisitive was moved up to Legendary, which is actually like very interesting how they did that. Um, so, we're going to tinker all those. I don't even know. This is obsidian. Yeah, we'll keep that obsidian shield. So, let's just... Um, ooh, sorry. Let's just do all these. We got a two and a three. Eh, could have been better. Not too bad, though. Now we got the five legendaries. We're just going to go one by one. Destruction two. Even if that was 100%, it would still go to the tanker. Bloodlust three again. Tanker. Ghost three. That's, uh, I don't know. Ghost, I already have a really good ghost three book, so I think I'm just going to tinker that. Um, overload one, and yeah, that was just really bad. Um, we could try selling this for H, sell 250k. If it sells for 250k, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. And then we'll tinker the rest of these. That was a really bad, uh, legendary book opening. Um, oh, primal legendary dust. Primal legendary dust. Here we go, guys. Come on. If this is like 30, make my day. 10, okay. I was figuring, I figured it would be 10, but still, that is awesome. Legendary primal dust, not something you see every day. I will take that for sure. This obsidian shield, I'll just put in PV3 for now, and I think I think I've covered everything I needed to. I'm just gonna go over my PVs a little bit um, and make sure I didn't leave anything out that I wanted to add in. Um, I'll, I'm also working on another god set right here. It's actually looking really good. Um, Light 3 Hardened 3 Helmet, which I think actually now, um, I had an idea. I was gonna make a god set without drunk on it, so if I wanted to PVP with my sword, it didn't have blessed. I think I'm going to make a godset without drunk, so I'll have, all four of these have drunk on it, but I think I'm going to make a godset without drunk. I think it'll be kind of like a nice thing to have, just in case I ever want to PvP without drunk. And then we got PvP set for a rando, don't even know why I said that, I didn't have a name, I'm really bad at naming armor. Um, anyways, it's got all the essentials, and then we've got the leggings, which I actually got from a kill, and I added in the light and overload, and they're really good, 9 lore. And I got the boots, which are like 7 lore, which are also pretty good. So. As far as God Gear's going, I'm doing great. I haven't, knock on wood, knock on wood, like, guys, knock on wood, if you're near some wood, knock on wood for me. I have not died in the God Set in a very long time. I don't even, I think the last time I died in the God Set was this one night when I died with two. I died with two of them. And I think, I guess, like, that night kind of just, like, cleansed my God Set dying for a while because I haven't died in the God Set in probably, like, a month. So... Again, knock on wood, I have not died in the god set, it's actually crazy. Fran did rip his, his really GG sword, but I have not. So, anyways guys, I think that is going to be it for this episode. It was kind of all over the place, I was planning on doing PvP, but it kind of turned out to something different. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it. Um, me and Fran and Jagmo are thinking about doing some PvP episodes in the future with some god sets and stuff, so if you guys are excited for that, drop a like, and um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.